Creating scissor skills activity books in PowerPoint. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where I show you how to make money online with KDP Low Content Books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button. So today we are covering scissor skills activity books and actually creating them in PowerPoint. Now scissor skills is a very important uh, skill that young children need to learn they need to know how to do the cutting motion how to cut round shapes and there is a process in which they need to do this so we've got onto amazon and we've done a search for scissor skills activity book self-publishing titans has only given it 44 and only and giving it like a yellow score but you can niche down and you can find extra keywords to actually be competing with so just because there's a lot of competition doesn't mean that you won't be seen also you can also be selling these on teacher pace teacher and on Etsy and on your own website. And you can also be approaching educational blogs as well to be selling packs there. So these are all the different bestsellers. As we can see, Modern Kid Press has got 805. And I won't click on any of these because they are sponsored ads. So there's a couple that's in the sponsored ad section that are independently published. And like I say, Modern Kid Press used to be. Um, independently published i think they still are they're just using their own isbn number and we must remember that they may be doing lots of extra things other than sponsored ads on amazon they may be going to pinterest they may be using pinterest paid ads they may be doing uh, google ads bing ads yahoo ads all the different platform ads and they might also be providing banners on um, educational platforms and blogs so I wanted to see how many they are selling. So I went across to TK Publishing. I'll leave a link in the description there. And they calculated that they're selling over 2,559 books. I then went to Tangent Templates to work out what the um, estimated royalty is in dollars. And then I calculated that and that was over 3,684. Now, if you want to work out... Um, what the estimated royalties are kdp themselves have their own calculator i'll leave a link in the description for you to download it is an excel worksheet hence the reason i use tangent templates because it's a lot easier so if you've got tangent templates you can simply type in again i'll leave a link in the description for tangent templates um it's a one-off payment for 59 dollars it is well worth it you are planning on scaling your kdp business up because of all the tangent interiors and interior design and the great support that you get from the facebook group and the youtube videos that kathy ann does so also i checked out using helium 10 chrome extension which you can get for free from helium 10 also i'll show you where that is and you can also run a keyword search on it up to two books a day using the free search um, if you have got a paid account you can obviously run a lot more you can actually combine and run about 10 searches at once and as many searches as you want in a day so what i did is i ran this and it's this run key set keywords here and then it brought back so inside of um uh, helium 10 i then uh, did a search volume of 100 minimum and i did competing products of a thousand again the link for helium 10 will be in the description and if you want to go ahead and purchase it or have a trial or check it out there are some coupon codes there as well but you can actually see there's lots of keywords that you can be competing for that has less than a thousand competing products like cutting workbooks for kids um you couldn't compete for modern kid press in your title or subtitle or in your back end keywords or even in your description but you can in your sponsored ads so there is a lot here there's a lot that you would actually take out because the trademark issue in if you're just wanting it for your own organic research like melissa and doug scissor school skills but again there's all the different words that you can be using again cumon you would take that out as well because that's an educational company so that is the research let's go and actually create some books so so here i've opened up powerpoint i've already resized it to eight and a half by eleven because that's the tends to be the size of all the books here if we have a look eight and a half by eleven 
that's a small one. And here's your. And that one, eight and a half by 11, that's got bleeding. Uh, eight and a half by 11, that's got bleeding. Eight and a half by 11. That doesn't tell us. Six by nine. Seven by ten. Eight and a half. So all the independently published ones are eight and a half. So they're all about around about the same size. So I've also gone to Vecteezy to grab some images. You can use Vecteezy free, but you do need to attribute any of the authors. There are other sites as well to get a hold of your images, or you can draw your own. So I'm going to just insert these ones here that I downloaded yesterday. And I'm going to insert the SVG because you can do in um, PowerPoint or I could have just gone for a JPEG. So I'm going to use this one because I'm going to do different cutting skills because there are different cutting skills that you need to be covering when you're doing this. You can't just do around shapes. So I'm going to convert this to a shape and then I'm going to just click on it and um, group group and group so i right clicked and ungrouped so this is now all ungrouped so what i can do is i can take the first one take the first one i'm going to copy and i'm going to place onto here and i can make it bigger so what I want to also do is then ungroup because I want to take the colours out. And the reason why I want to take the colours out is so that kids can actually colour in. And I could have also taken this one here. Now I'm doing this big so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Again, the beauty about SVGs is it doesn't pixelate when you make it bigger. Hence the reason SVGs are so good. Group again because it's just a simple image. I'm doing that. So the first image is they need to learn how to cut in a straight line. So what you can do is just insert a line like this and literally just put it there. And then you can make it black, you can make it thicker. And then you can change it to dashes as well. So that is your first line there. You can also put a pair of scissors going around. So if you go to icons and then search for scissors, you can get a pair of scissors. And you can insert it there. And then you can either turn it around. And then just bring that line up a bit there. And that you can be doing for your straight images. So I'm just going to take that and put it there. Okay. So the next one, I'm going to take that line off. And what you can do is you can actually make it a jagged line. So again, insert, take this. Put one there, make it black. Wait, turn off again. Dishes. Take one there, group those two. And that and then like there. Right click group command D and paste and drag. So that's another one that you can do. And then if I do get that slide again, obviously you would change your images, change what they're doing. You may even change your layout, you may change it from bottom uh, top to right or 
left to right or putting an image to this side. It's your choice of, I'm just showing you how to do things. So the next one is more of a wavy line. And again, you would insert and you would go to this freeform line here. And literally you would draw around like this. Just give them the movement of a, and then just clicking at the end, double clicking to end it, make it that weight two and a half, and double dashed literally, and then command D just to pop it over, and that is another one there. Then another one, hang on, another slide. Duplicate. This time I'm going to get rid of all of these and I'm just going to have the apple. Bring it all the way down. So I can resize it. Resize it. This time I'm going to insert again. I'm going to use this freeform tool and I'm literally just going to try and draw around it the best I can with my mouse. If you are doing it in Photoshop, it is a lot easier. Same if you're doing it in Affinity, and I will be creating a video showing you how to do it a lot neater. And you can also do it in Photopea again. I'll show you that because that's also a free program. So if so, we've got that there. I want no fill, and I want to change my color to black. Change my weight to two and a half, and again change to my dashed lines, and that is how I would actually go around to shape. Obviously, it's not very neat because I've just done it quickly. You can do it a lot neater um, if you take care while you're doing it around with your mouse. And again, you can do it a lot neater in uh, Affinity Designer and Photoshop and um, Photopy. And again, I will create videos showing you how to do that. Now, if you don't want to spend any time doing those sorts of things, you can actually purchase your own Scissor Skills pack. And again, I'll leave a link down in the description. This pack is already done for you. There's 138 cutout images, 52 cutout alphabet letters and cutout numbers zero to nine. There's also another further 112 color images where you can actually go along and be changing it and using the skills that I show you in these videos. And there's also the keywords there that I was showing you using Cerebro as well, 57 long tail keywords, along with the 30 different categories that you can place your book in. And at the moment during launch period it is $17. This price could go up at any time to $27. So I'll also leave a link down in the description. I hope this helped. If you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments. I do answer the questions. And again, I will be creating videos showing you how to do the exact same thing using Photoshop, Affinity Designer and Photo P. Well, yeah, so don't forget to check out my two videos on how to create crossword puzzles and word search puzzles using a free tool.